Welcome to Acuity and our series on adding features to your Sage 300. In this one, we're going to show you how to add a new user. Firstly, you need to go to Administrative Services and click on the user. Now, the user ID at the top is just purely an ID, not the full name, which we put in under username. So on this occasion, the user ID will just be Mike and our username of Mike Smith. From here, we make sure the account type is user and we can choose the language that Mike Smith will be in. We can look at authentication method afterwards, but here we would change the job role to whatever that job role was for Mike. And the authentication method here can be Sage 300, Windows or both. And the Sage 300 method is actually just a password. So you log into your icon, type in Mike and the password. Whereas Windows uses the Windows authentication from the domain that you're in. So if you choose Windows authentication, you get the browse button, which enables you to then view the Windows domains that you have available. Now, on this particular occasion, we have lots of them, but generally you'd only have the one, possibly two domains that, that you would log into from that machine. So using this particular method, you would log into your Windows machine, double click on the icon for Sage 300, and it would log you in automatically. Below the password, there's a number of options, but we're not going to tick them. We're just going to add Mike at this particular stage. So once we've saved Mike, the next thing that we will do is look at security groups. Now, in here, there are different groups and we have all the different modules that we have within Sage 300. You can see them in this drop down list. So we can set up groups for everything. Uh, we can set very granular, as you can see, the very granular setup details here for the general ledger. But we're going to go and create ourselves a new group. Uh, we can look at the old groups uh, that we have already. So we can see that we have an entry and a full access one. We're going to cancel that. We're going to create a new one called Clark. And the new one uh, has got a group ID and a description. So we're going to create a description in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the security group and allow the various options that we want for this particular person um, or people that may be within that group. So we just simply go down and tick all the boxes that we need. Now, once we've chosen all the boxes that we want, we could have at the bottom done select all. Um, if you've got all selected, you can remove all. But in this particular occasion, we're going to tick the boxes that we want and click add. This now finalizes that group ID setup. So we now have a new group ID to add to the two that we already had in the system. Once we've done that, the next stage is user authorizations. Now, user authorizations, we need, um, again, under the administrative services, we need to then assign that user to that group ID. So the three stages, create the user, create the group ID, or use an existing group ID. And now we're going to assign this particular user, Mike Smith, to the uh, particular group ID that we want. So double click on the uh, respective module and then go to the group ID, choose from now one of the three. Uh, we created the Clark department entry, so we're going to use that one. And then you can go through all of the modules and you can update it from there. So hopefully that has given you a brief outline of setting up a user. Thanks very much.